The idea of an artificial liver has been around for 50 years. Uh, the bio-artificial liver, which means they're living cells in the device, has been, been a concept since 1987. It's now a concept that's proven to work, according to a new study just published in the Journal of Hepatology. Dr. Scott Nyberg is director of the liver program at the Mayo Clinic Center for Regenerative Medicine and head of Mayo's artificial liver program. He and his team have successfully demonstrated their system on pigs with acute liver failure. In the treatment group, all of the animals survived the therapy. We're up walking around with recovered livers at at the end of the study. During liver failure, ammonia builds up in the bloodstream, causing the brain to swell and other organs to begin to fail. Much like a patient with kidney failure, excess wastes in the blood become toxic. If you think about kidney dialysis, this is dialysis for liver disease. The liver is more complicated. It actually does metabolic activities. It detoxifies waste, it synthesizes proteins. Which is why a bio-artificial liver incorporates living cells, in this case from pig livers, to carry out such vital functions for a patient. A pig this size, we hope we'll get about 200 grams of hepatocytes or more. Hepatocytes are the liver's primary workhorse cells. Each gram contains about one and a half billion of them. Engineering advances in Dr. Nyberg's lab allow very large concentrated doses of hepatocytes to be collected and processed for use. They rock at a slow rate and overnight the hepatocytes will start sticking to each other, form aggregates. Essentially forming clusters of 50 to 150 fully functional cells called spheroids. As long as we keep them warm and fed and pH controlled, we, we can keep them around for days or weeks. The spheroids are loaded into a contained chamber. Using high-tech filters, the bioartificial liver routes the patient's blood fluids past the spheroids for processing. As a transplant surgeon, Dr. Nyberg sees how artificial liver therapy could be a solution to the donor organ shortage in some cases. For example, he estimates at least 25 to 50 percent of acute liver failure patients could recover if only they had time. And if we could temporarily support them while their liver regenerates and heals, we could avoid a liver transplant. So that would be a huge savings of both an organ that could be used for somebody else and avoid a transplant and lifelong immunosuppression for those patients. The first human clinical trial could begin as early as next year. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.